Hello and welcome to another simple, interesting, absorbing drill by me, Mark Jones. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, helping you with three components to help you with your chipping and your pitching. Now chipping is basically the ball is going up in the air, landing on the green, running to the pin. Pitching is basically like a pitch and a run. It's a lower trajectory, lower shot, it gets on the green or wherever you want and it runs a lot longer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to incorporate the three components necessary to produce better chips and better pitches. Right, so first thing is, what we're going to do is, the first component basically is to get the ball up in the air, because a lot of people struggle to get the ball up in the air. So what we're going to do to incorporate that is we're going to do this very simple thing. We're going to grip our club with our sand wedge or 50, uh, 60 degree or 60 degree, whichever one. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to place our hands as far back as possible. Not moving the legs or anything, just placing our hands as far back as possible. Now when you do this, make sure that your club face is square. Because you can have a tendency to do this and it can close the club face. Alright? So remember to keep it up and make sure that that is there. And what you're going to do is just take a couple of swings basically like this. Okay, so that's the first component, which is basically getting the ball up, or trying to instill that particular thing by placing the hands very far behind, as extreme as possible. And now on the other hand, we're trying to get the ball first, so we're trying to strike the ball first so that the club can get the ball up in the air. So in order to do this, we're going to stand exactly the same position, straight, and we're going to push the hands as far forward as possible, without moving our lower bodies, just pushing the hands far forward. Again, if you push your hands forward, the club will have a tendency to open up and push to the right. So what we're trying to do is keep the club face square and push your hands forward. All right. And then we're going to take a couple of shots like that. Okay, so that's the second component. And the third component, which you've already been doing, by doing one extreme to the other, is getting your triangle, your shoulders, your arms, and your wrist to work together. So basically, I'll just illustrate that through what I've done. So when you put your club far back, you can see that my triangle has gone back like this, but that helps me to keep the triangle going. So just watch my triangle, my shoulders, my arms, basically doing that. And when I push my arms far forward, you can see my triangle is like that. And basically, I'm just keeping my triangle. So by practicing the extreme of putting your club far, your hands far back and your hands far forward, you're already instilling that process of that component of your triangle. Okay, okay and then basically what we're going to do then is uh, instead of hands too far back, too far forward, just slightly forward of the golf ball and then just feel, combine those components as you practice, hit a couple uh, 10 balls or 20 balls with your hands behind, hit 20 balls with your hands forward and then put your hands back in the center or just slightly forward and then you hit some balls as well. That will give you the feeling of your hands, shoulders, everything working together and you can get a nice crisp shot. Okay, so basically as far as how that can help with your chipping and your pitching. So with chipping we're just trying to get the ball up a little bit and in order to do that we maintain those components but we're just going to place the ball a little bit favoring the left side. Alright, this helps us then to get the ball a little bit higher up. And then for pitching, basically pitching is we're trying to get the ball a little lower or running a lot more. So in order to do that, we're just going to place the ball or favor our right side. Okay, this is for pitching. Right, maintaining the same components. The ball runs a lot more. Okay. All right. So basically just to recap, first thing is we're trying to incorporate three components. The first component is getting the ball up in the sky, up in the air. For that we need to place our hands behind the ball as far away as possible and take a couple of shots. We're then incorporating, trying to hit down on the golf ball and then the ball, the club do all the work of getting down into the golf ball. So we'll incorporate pushing the head as far forward as possible. 
remembering when doing this keep your club face nice and straight because when you push it far back or far forward it has a tendency to open up and close up next thing is the third component which is obviously incorporated into what you're doing so when you put your hands far you re remaining the this triangle of your shoulders and your arms and your wrist are remaining and by doing these extremes you incorporate in the third component all right and then basically if you want to have the chip where the ball rises up a little bit and drops down and it's still nice and crisp you let the club do all the work you just place your hands in the center slightly forward and you strike the ball putting the ball slightly forward to your left to your left side if you want to hit a more running shot lower shot running place everything on the right side not incorporating those three elements and just keeping the swing exactly the same all right so that's it uh, if you have any other problems or you have anything else in your chipping, your putting or your golf swing or your golf game, then you can email me or my email address uh, or write to me and uh, we'll see if we can help you with any of the problems that you may be having with any of your golf games. I'm Mark Jones and thanks for joining me for another interesting, absorbing, simple golf tour. Cheers.